Hey everyone, welcome back to Virtualization How To, and I'm Brandon Lee. Today we're diving into an exciting review of the Geekum AE7 Mini PC. Now this is a compact little mini PC that I think has some impressive features and performance as a home server running virtualized workloads. So let's dive into our look at this mini PC, including things like specs, performance, connectivity, power efficiency, and more. So let's get started. First off, let's talk about the specs of the AE7. The Geekum AE7 is equipped with the Ryzen 9 7940 HS processor with 8 cores and 16 threads that clock up to 5.2 GHz. The model I received had 32 gigs of DDR5 memory installed as well as a 1 terabyte NVMe SSD. Another interesting point about this mini PC is it comes with an NPU. And in case you're not familiar with an NPU, it's a special processor that makes AI processing much faster. It's offloaded to the NPU. Now this comes with 10 tops proficiency and natural language mastery. So it's going to have really good AI performance. This combination also of performance in the CPU as well as memory, it ran virtual machines without any issues. The performance I found was great in Proxbox, making it, I think, a very nice home lab server that is based on an AMD Ryzen chipset. The footprint of the unit is very petite. It feels smaller than some of the other 4x4 mini PCs out there and it has that really compact feel about it. So I think that's also a really great characteristic in a home lab environment if you are limited on the space that you have available for your lab. Now let's talk about performance with this mini PC. I've been testing it with various virtualization and containerization platforms like Proxbox, Docker, and even a few VMs running on VMware ESXi with a USB network adapter. We're gonna mention that a little bit later and the AE7 handled everything I threw at it with ease. I didn't really have any instability issues or overheating or throttling of the unit. I didn't even hear the fan ramp up extremely loud when working with the unit with several VMs powered on. And really the only time that I noticed anything audible with the unit was when I used the Linux stress utility to push the CPU to 100% utilization and I left it there for a couple of minutes. So I think that is a fairly reasonable thing to assume that you're gonna hear the fans ramp up if you're at 100% CPU at least for a short time. With connectivity, the Geekum AE7 doesn't disappoint there as well. It comes with multiple USB ports, including USB-C, HDMI, and a single ethernet port. It provides all of the necessary options I think that many would be looking for as a desktop replacement for peripherals and network connectivity. And like most mini PCs now in 2024, it includes Wi-Fi 6 for Wi-Fi connectivity and it also has Bluetooth 5.2, has three USB 3.2 ports, one USB 2.0 port, one USB 4.0 port, one Type-C port, and two HDMI 2.0 ports as well as one SD card reader. The one disappointment that I think with this unit is that it comes with a single two and a half gig ethernet port. And this is also a Realtek adapter that if you wanna work with VMware ESXi, it's not going to recognize a Realtek adapter. And I know many are less than enthusiastic about VMware these days, but just so you know, you'll need a USB network adapter to get VMware ESXi loaded if you want to go that route. And I think it's a disappointment when mini PCs eliminate some options that you would have a mini PC that would be VMware compliant, Proxmox compliant, and so forth. So I do think it's a bummer that it has Realtek network adapter. Now, when it comes to power efficiency, I found the AE7 to be extremely efficient. This mini PC consumes significantly less power compared to traditional desktop servers, even like my once efficient older Supermicro Xeon D units. And during my test, the AE7 averaged around eight and a half watts with 10 VMs just idling. But on the flip side, I was able to push the AE7 to 70 watts 
at full load with the Linux stress utility. However, again, just to give you context, my older Xeon D Super Micros draw around 100 watts at 50 to 70% CPU. So again, I think the efficiency of this unit is great for a home server, especially seeing the low power draw and idle with the 7940HS. So I wanted to show you guys physically around the Geekum AE7 mini PC. It's a really nice looking unit. It's substantial in look and feel. Uh, it, it actually feels very quality in its build and design. And I'll just take you guys around the front of the unit. Uh, most of what we see in a lot of mini PCs these days, we got the power button, we got the three and a half millimeter microphone slash headphone jack, we've got two USB 3.2 ports up front. Uh, around the side, you're going to see the SD card reader. And then if we flip to the back side of the unit, you're going to see we've got two HDMI ports, we've got the uh, power adapter, we've got USB-C, we've got the single Realtek network adapter at two and a half gig, and then we also have another USB-C 10 gig port. We've got two USB-C ports on the back of the unit, and if you're looking at the back of the unit, the USB Type-C port that's on the left side is a 40 gig port, and then the one that's on the right hand side of the unit is 10 gig. So healthy IO connectivity around back. And so I think this unit is going to provide just about everything that you're going to look for on the hardware side as far as connectivity outside of the single Realtek two and a half gig network adapter. So what can you use the Geekum AE7 for? What are the use cases that this particular mini PC might fit? Well, as you already know, I think it makes a really good home lab server as I have tested. It can easily handle running several VMs and even with a RAM upgrade from the 32 gigs of memory that came installed from the factory, uh, you could push this to 96 gigs of memory with DDR5, so you could fit a very dense number of VMs on a Proxbox installation without issue. And again, if you want to load VMware ESXi, you can grab a USB network adapter and you should be able to load that up. As a media server, it could easily handle something like Plex or MB and streaming high definition content without any hiccups and video encoding this mini PC should do that without any difficulty. You could also use this for something like file server. However, you are going to be limited in what you can fit on the storage side in this mini PC since it only has a single M.2 slot for storage. That can be upgraded to at least what they're saying from the factory documentation to a two terabyte M.2 drive. Let's talk about the pros and cons of this unit. First of all, the pros. I think the Geekum AE7 has powerful performance in a compact form factor. Along with the Ryzen 9 7940HS processor, you're not going to be disappointed in terms of performance with this unit. It has excellent connectivity options, it's energy efficient, and it's quiet also in operation. The CPU is a uniform processor, so you don't have the efficiency cores and performance cores to deal with. It uses DDR5 memory, so you can take it all the way up to 96 gigs of memory. It has tons of I.O. ports, healthy bandwidth at 10 gig and 40 gig, USB-C connectivity. The power consumption is minimal at idle with idle workloads. And it also has that dedicated NPU for offloading AI computations. So if we're wanting to work with AI projects, that would be a great component found in this particular mini PC. So now let's mention the cons, I think, for this unit. First of all, the unit is actually rather expensive compared to other mini PCs on the market. It's found for around $699 on Amazon. However, I will note that there will be coupon code links in the description for this video as Geekom has sent over some coupon code links for the video. It uses the Realtek 2.5 gig network adapter, and that's only a single adapter. These days, it's really nice to see many PCs that have two network adapters for Ethernet. So keep in mind, this is a single adapter, and it's a Realtek adapter, meaning that you're going to have the issues trying to install VMware ESXi if you want to run that for your home server. Now, in wrapping up this video review, the Geekum AE7 Mini PC is a great choice. I think for anyone looking for a Ryzen-based home server with lots of performance, I found that it handled anything I threw at it in Proxbox without issue. It has low power consumption, 
and it has a small footprint. So if you're in the market for a compact and powerful home server that is Ryzen based, this Geekum A7 is definitely worth considering. Well, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews and tutorials, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or thoughts that you may have about the Geekum AE7 or anything else that's on your mind. Stay safe out there, guys. Keep on home labbing, and I will see you in the next video.